Hey guys, Willem from Blyberg Snake Rescue here. This is a rain spider. Uh, it's one of the family of huntsman spiders and they're actually quite common in our area. I removed this from a, from a lady's house last night. She saw it on one of her outside walls and she just kept watching it until I got there. Um, there are a couple of ways in which you can recognize rain spiders. So firstly, you see that white moustache that it has in front there. Um, that's typical of the rain spiders. They've got that marking. And then also if I look from the bottom, you see the kind of zebra striping that it has on its legs. Um, that's a typical feature of the rain spiders as well. And then also the size. Um, you can see compared to my hand here, this isn't, isn't even a fully grown one yet. Um, in our area, if you encounter a big spider like this, it's either going to be a rain spider or a baboon spider. And baboon spiders would be, uh, they, they would have shorter, thicker legs and the uh, fully grown one would be quite a bit bigger than this. You may be able to see a little bit of webbing there. You just spun a bit of web to hold on. Um, they tend to do that when they stop. They spin a little bit of web and they just hold on with it there. Right. You see that orange marking at the, at the front of the spider? Just to the side of it, just above it, um, you see those two little black hooks. So those are the fangs. And so spider fangs look like that. So let's see if we can get a slightly better picture of it. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. There you can very nicely see the fangs. Um, and obviously that's what the spider uses to inject its venom into its prey. And looking at the size of those fangs, you can also see why a, a bite from a big spider like this or a baboon spider can hurt quite a bit. Uh, their fangs can be quite big. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, take a couple of photos and then we're going to release this little guy safely over here in the bushes.